Hey, how's everybody doing today? Well, look at that. Six months in a row. Look at the quad quad flare god. Showing off that Epine. Alright, hello Mr. Keebs, Hammer Brother, God, thanks for the resub. Got Redhawk, Chairhorn, Devness. Alright, what's going on? So Good news. Finals are over. Semester is over. So, summer's here. I don't have to take classes. So. Maintain my visa and shit. So, full time keyboard stuff. It's gonna be pretty fun. Hey, thanks very much, Aaron Brother. I appreciate the cheer. Oh, look at that. Chokan with the three months in a row. And Hammer Brother, six months too. Thank you very much, guys. All the resubs, I really appreciate it. Hey, Irene, NGB. Yep, yep, should be great. I'm hoping to stream. Thank you, thank you. I'm hoping to stream. So at least twice a week. Ideally, three, four times a week. All right. Thank you, God. Okay, all right, so let's go and get started. Let's not waste too much time. Okay, where's my knife? I seem to buy another knife. If I'm gonna do more unboxings, I need a better knife than this shit. You know, I've, I've, ever since I had to throw that knife away at the airport, I've always wondered, man, you know how much bank you could make if you just set up like a shipping, you know, little, Stand on the side of the TSA or right before it. You know, like, hey, if you got any valuables that you might have to toss away at TSA, you know, give us 30 bucks and shipping and we'll pack it and ship it back to your address or some something. You know, or if you want to ship to your destination or whatever. You can make some nice money, and it'll be convenient. <laughs> Did you try using Twitch Prime code? Hey, what's up, Chokan? Alright, yes. Hey, helpful? Yeah, thanks for the resub, got the resub guys. Chokan, Hammer Brother, and God. Who else resubbed? Okay. Yeah, so 910C. Chokan, have you unboxed your canoe yet, or are you gonna wait? Yeah, so this morning, instead of studying, I fixed up my Android PBT75 and I rebuilt my TXCP. Finally, I've been meaning to get some of those boards done. I was still too tired and I didn't want, I didn't, I didn't want to work on anyone's board while being that tired. So I just worked on my own stuff. Yeah, it was kind of an awkward three hours. Not being sure, hey, should I just go to bed or should I keep staying up? I just decided, fuck it, and get some keyboard stuff done. Oh, and Irene, wait. Oh, his didn't show? Oh, I'm so sorry. Alright, Tefram. Hey, hello, Red Hawk. Okay, who else is here? Not bad. Semester over, so hopefully. The thing is, I'll be moving. In July so I'm gonna assume that's gonna be at least a few weeks where I'll be pretty busy but hopefully other than that I don't think I have anything lined up so keyboard is all the way and pro hopefully other stuff too 
Thanks so much, NGB. Now go get a job. God damn it. Now, I, I actually had a... There's this Malaysian Singaporean restaurant. And we went to eat there. After the election results. So for those of you who are out of the loop, and I'm sure a lot of you are, because you know no one gives a shit about Malaysia. So we've had the same ruling party ever since independence, so over 60 years, okay? And we've gotten close a few times to toppling the incumbent government. And now it's finally happened. So I don't want to talk about too much politics or anything like that, but it's just a, it's, a, it's a huge deal. All right. Huge, huge stuff happening. It's like, you know, say Kim Jong-un trying to, you know, make peace with South Korea and all that. You know, big news. And so my brother and I decided, well, we're going to go get some Malaysian food to, you know, celebrate the momentous occasion. And so we went there and the, Mal the, the owner of the restaurant is also from Penang, from Malaysia. And so, yeah, we, we chatted, chatted a little bit. And the point of the story was, oh yeah, he said that he was going back to Malaysia in July, and he was like, "Do you need a part-time job?" Hey, I would I wouldn't mind cooking some Malaysian food. Maybe he's looking for an apprentice, but I don't know. I've got stuff to do. Hey, Mr. Keeps, thank you very much. Oh my God, look at that spam! Look at that spam! For those of you who don't know, Mr. Keeps also has a keyboard Twitch channel and I believe a YouTube as well. So you should definitely go check his stuff out. Alright, so we are unboxing a TGR 910 CE. CE stands for... Collector's Edition. That's, that's what it stands for. Also stands for crazy expensive. Cause this was not cheap. <laughs> Except Malaysia and nuclear weapons. Hey, did wing dick? How's it going? Everybody says I don't know anything about politics. What's the cliff notes on this change? So, like I said, huge change. It's like, it's like if Texas became a blue state, or it's like if. I don't know. It's just it's massive, absolutely massive. Because the all the media and everything is controlled by the same government. You know, basically everything. Utilities are all controlled by the one same party, ruling party. And so yeah, this is this is huge. So you know, for Penang, it's kind of whatever because we've we've been with this opposition government for a long time now. We've always been hipster and. Uh, But it is huge news. It is basically biggest news ever since independence. Just huge, massive. This will be one for the history books, at least in Malaysia and in that region. Yes. Huge, huge deal. I wish I could have been home to celebrate it. I actually spoke to a few other Malaysian keyboard folks, Yukti and Beaming Robot, cause I saw they were on Instagram and stuff and so yeah, there everyone. It's a, it's, a, it's a good day to for Malaysia. I don't often say that. Okay, so this is the PCB for the TGI 910. So nothing too incredible. All right, it's kind of a bare bones PCB. All right now, bare bones doesn't always mean bad, right? You could have bare bones and bad. You could have bare bones and good. Although bare bones, obviously, good bare bones not gonna be a good feature rich PCB. So this one, nothing to shout home about, honestly, right? You've got your typical green for the PCBs. Wiring seems to at least be neatly arranged. Or at least looks neatly arranged. I don't know how it actually all works out. You know, PCB expert. And I want to say this was the first PCB that TGR did all by himself or themselves. Or is it the Alice? This is the first one, right? Is it? Or is it the transparent one? I don't even know. But yeah, so 
Software facing LEDs, you got mini USB connector. Like I said, green. I don't really know what this is. It says TGR, oh, I guess that's the TGR logo. TGR Unicorn PCB V version 1.2. You'll see no RGB LEDs, although it's got spots for you to solder in LEDs, should you wish. So you can always do that. Nice to see that they have some in the middle, although I wish they would have one further out here, right? It's not spaced out very nicely. And again, if you do get a TGR, please do not try to use the RGB diffuser. It's kind of an afterthought. You shouldn't do it. Okay, Chokan says, I have no plans for the canoe. I'm not spending any money on keeps for a while anyway. Oh yeah, you gotta reboot the computer, right? <laughs> Three five six mini. This is this is my sixty. This is my sixty thousand dollars. Oh, and so since I was talking about Malaysia, this is made and designed and shipment. You know, everything was done in Malaysia. Right, and so pretty appropriate, right? That was that was the whole point of me going to that story. So pretty good week to be talking about to be to be working on this keyboard. Okay, so we've looked at the PCB. And then now now let's get to the meat. Hey purple, what's up? Brother in law gave me his Microsoft Surface and I've used. This thing is great to use while I lay in bed. Watching your stream, oh boy, oh boy. Hopefully, you can use just one hand to hold that surface. Hey, not G10. Hello, hello. How's it going? Better than duck for first try. Better than Lin for first try. Holy shit! This thing is deceivingly heavy. Right, so it comes in this foam box. This is the box that the 910C comes in, right? I'm sure all of you have an experience with this. Right. Nothing special. Right, so this is probably one of my favorite 65%. So pretty hyped to see how it looks out. I wonder if the PCB is... Programs. Let me check it real quick. This is good practice. You want to test your PCB before you do anything. Make sure it's working. <laughs> your representation. How much you gotta spend on cubes? Well, guys. Okay, hey, Grail. Rents pones. What is up? Of course, helpful. Hello, hello. Okay. So real quick, I'm gonna test the PCB. Switch hitter, there we go. Okay, and what I want to do is. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, no! No! Okay, so let's see if anything lights up. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Made in Malaysia. I should, I should probably save that for <laughs> when all of it actually, when we, when we know for sure that everything works. Yeah, so far, so good. Because right, this is what I like seeing. I want PCBs to all come flashed with not just any layout, a working layout. That should be standard. It doesn't take a lot more time on the part of the group by runner or the vendor, especially if it's a vendor, right? If it's a if it's a, if it's a group by runner who, who has a full time job and everything, you know, I can kind of, you know, just close one eye and look away. If you are selling your shit, it's a full time job, 
And please, for the love of all things sacred, God, Muhammad, Buddha, all, all you know, everything, please spend the couple of minutes to program your board so that people can actually test their PCBs as they arrive. And I see it very often with, I see the lack of, you know, pre-flashing very often on keyboard or on PCBs manufactured or, and or sold in the US, which is a damn shame. I know one company in particular that is a US vendor and every PCB that I've worked that I've that I've worked on from them has never come with anything flashed and it pisses me off because it's extra time that I've spent. Alright, so it looks like everything lights up. That's good. Good job you'd see so far. So far. This runs on boot mapper, so it's nice. It's basically the and it officially runs on boot mapper. It's not like what the Chinese did years ago and they basically pirated it, right? They didn't ask permission from Winkyless Korea. I'm trying to remember his name. Lee something. Boot mapper is nice. I still prefer it to Jigon. I prefer it to O2D. I prefer it to Gon. It's a gone UI. I actually prefer it to QMK just a little bit. Oh my god. Yeah, I have the window shut now, so no bugs. Which is good. Okay, not G10 says that is a nice looking desk mat. Nice upgrade from the last time I was here. Oh yeah! Not just the desk mat, but Upgraded the camera and stuff too, so, so oops. No, oh, what are you doing? There we go. All right. Yeah, I'm hoping to pick up the Myonics desk mats. They wanted the burgers and stuff and fries because they're finally in stock on Amazon. Oh no, there's a bit of a tarnish over there, but no, that's fine. Okay, so so far, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. That is real nice. Man, that is shiny. Okay, so that's one. I actually wasn't referring to that vendor god. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, so first of all, this thing is stupid heavy. We're talking crazy heavy. We're talking, I would not be able to lose this much weight in two years of exercise. This is, well, cause two years of exercise is no exercise for me. Anyway, this board so far so good. Let's bring the kitchen scale. Alright, who else is here that I'm missing? I 
Okay. Zoology, hey, what's up? Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to put it on a hard surface. So. So this is without the PCB, without switches, without keycaps. It's 2.164 kilograms. So for almost five pounds, four pounds and 12 ounces. Again, this is without PCB, without keycaps, without switches. So maybe could be substantial. Or quite a bit heavier. All right, see you, Mr. Keeb. Say, hey, Mega Jesus, what's up? VPR. Well, good luck with the final VPR. Study hard. Long cutie pie, hey. Okay, so. Two prominent things on the 910. So this is not unique to the 910 CE. The first 910 had the, this, the, these design features as well. The 0 0.5 unit blocker over here to separate the arrow keys from the right hand mods. This is nice because this means that you can use a you can use standard 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 6.25 spacebar, 1.25, 1.25. So that's good. And if I'm not mistaken, you can get away with. Yeah, so you can do this too, I believe, which I might actually prefer. So you could also go with a Sangan bottom row, All right? I, I, I think I like this a bit better. I don't know if you can do 6U on this thing. I, I want to say no. Maybe I'm wrong. Don't have a 6 space spacebar right here. But yeah, see, this is nice. All right? You don't have to worry about this awkward gap over here. Yeah, so this is great. I wish the Singa had the same just single blocker on the right side or an option for it. It's a shame it doesn't. Okay, so that's very cool. Okay, what else am I missing over here? Hey, Arcadian60, welcome to the stream. Yeah, this is for tomorrow. So we're just unboxing it because I just got it in and we're gonna check it out. Because I won't have time to look into it in this level of detail. Yeah, I, I prefer 1.5, wait. 6.25? You mean 7? Okay, 1.5, 1. It has to be a 7. Spacebar. Let's say you have to be building two boards a week. Oh, I build more than two boards a week, actually. I'm hoping to be able to stream more than two boards a week. Okay, so. Let's take a look at the front again, right? My word. 
Right. Look at that brass plate. Look at that thing. Oh man, okay, so this is kind of weird. I don't know what's going on over here, right? You see that? That concerns me a bit. Because everything else looks pretty nice. Just what happened here? And of course, you've got a bit of a tarnish over here. I, I think this is just tape, actually. Tape residue, just some adhesive. Yes, it is, see? At least it's not from the van man, right? So we know it's probably clean. So I'll, I'll clean that out tomorrow. Hey, look at that. Dot hit with the resub. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Has, has summer pretty much started for you? I think you ended the semester a week earlier than I did, right? Okay, so this is a top mount. You can see that already. You can see the mounting points. One, two, three. Four, I believe. Not none on the side. And then another one, two, three, four in the bottom. So eight in total. Which is not bad for this size. Oh look at that sand blasted finish. Oh that is that is magnificent. I like that. I think for me, when it comes to brass, my favorite is probably sand blasted. And then brushed and then PVD coated. I'm actually not a big fan of PVD coating on brass. I think it makes it look cheap. I know it's more expensive, it just makes it look cheap. Okay. And then you've got this section, right? Oh, look at that. This is kind of like the what building is it called? You know, and then the sun, or just some skyscraper, right, with the typical golden windows. All right, look at that. That is really nice. Look at that. That's beautiful. So the top is cut, and there's a shiny brass piece underneath. So there is a version that you can purchase an upgrade, sort of, an add-on, where you can make this RGB. But I like this look a lot more. I think this looks sophisticated, looks very clean. Right, if you want RGB, this is not the board for you. Okay, and then you can see the brass weight. Now you're thinking, man, I can see the brass weight from the inside. Does that mean that, you know, it's just a little piece that's just sitting here? You know, can I see the weight at all from underneath? Is this just like an accessory weight that you just stick in kind of like on the M60? Right, but wait, what are these? If this is just screwed in to the top, then what the hell is this? Well, 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 well. Okay, first the side. The side's pretty cool. My favorite part about the 910 in terms of the case. Right, so my least favorite part has to be these seams, even though they're, they're done pretty well. All right, as far as seams go, these seem good. Decent. Not gonna, not gonna give it too much praise, because it's still not something I like. I still think it's a lazy design. Of course, you can. You can go hard and trying to make the lines as clean as possible, as in the machining. So the type of aluminum you use, the kind of tolerances you have, the, the attention to quality and detail. Right. Because cheap keyboards, when they have seams, they, they're not done very nicely. For example, I think the E6 V1 and V2, the seams are not as nice as this those you can kind of see the jaggedness and stuff okay and my, my favorite part about the design is probably this section over here so when it lays flat there's like a little lift in the rear right 
it, it looks really nice when you set it down maybe we can take some pictures or you can look at some pictures so it's not a full flat profile you can see the rear just kind of kicks up a little bit all right that's very nice they don't overdo it i know 2018 is the year of overdoing keyboard design especially the bezels this keyboard doesn't do that and so the weight we're talking about the weight you can see it from the inside what about the outside look at that the 910 the tgr 910 ce all right very nicely done it's got an instant classic look to it It's not going to go out of style anytime soon. Maybe the font is a little strange for the 910, but whatever. They might as well just pick the Samsung kind of cursive comic sense, whatever. You can see TGR. Look at that. That is a very nice logo. I like that. And the sandblasted brass. Oh. That is so nice. Look at that. You can see the texture. Beautiful. Okay, so the weight was machined with a very low tolerance. That means very precise, a lot of time and effort and money went into it to make sure that the the weight fits very nicely and the weight yes it goes through all the way from the inside to the back so it's chunky very chunky so do we want to take it apart So the rear, all right. Ooh, of course the TGR logo at the back. See, I like this. All right, you still leave your logo or whatever in the back, uh, on, on the board somewhere, but not you know, prominently on the front. Okay, I hear a screw. Where did that come from? So there is a random screw I'm not sure where it's from. That's not good. Was it from the plate? Did it somehow come loose? Yeah, hopefully it didn't scratch anything. I wonder how it came off, honestly. Yeah, see, look at that. It's got this nice little chamfer or whatever on the back. So that's pretty cool. Rear. Okay, so we looked at the case. Now, anodizing, I will say, honestly, not great. Now, it's better than most cheap things. All right, so it's better than say, m most cases from China, like you know, that you can buy from Taobao, Aliexpress or whatever. But not perfect, this is not perfect. So you can see the mismatch, right? I think I think that's quite obvious. And if it's obvious on the black, then it's more obvious on probably more obvious on all the other colors. Right? And you can see just splodges and stuff. I'm I'm I assure you that's not from my fingers. Alright, I can wipe that clean. Where's my clean? Well, I had a piece of cloth here. Hmm. 
But yeah, so the analyzing is probably the weakest point of this keyboard, honestly. The finish itself feels good, right? I don't see scratches. I don't see dents. I don't see... any nicks or anything like that the, the 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 feeling is the finish on it smooth consistent it's just a matter of the the colors all right but yeah you can see even though it's got a lazy seam that runs throughout the board it's actually done decently well all right, machined properly or good enough still not good enough to make me change my mind okay let's see so what okay I'm missing a lot of chat give me one second Okay, Arcadian60 says, for a first time heavy click switch, would you recommend Gadron Greens or Kyle Box Navy? Go with the Box Navy. Don't go with any MX style clicks. So MX style includes Gadron. In fact, don't really go for Gadron or anything. Uh, in terms of switches. <laughs> it's better Southpaw. Oh my god, the South yeah, the Southpaw. I do I do respect how honest he was and I like being that sort of, you know, having that sort of introspection, being that honest with yourself and with everyone, I think that's good. I think that juxtaposed with another vendor is a very telling difference. All right. So I think it'll at least give people more faith in his future projects, as in for the runner of South, the South Pole. All right, Walter Troll, hey, what's up? And yes, yeah, sandblasted it is, oh boy. <laughs> Last name in real life, Medici. Okay, so Dothead says, I essentially finished last week, but I have some cleaning up to do. Wait, you didn't clean up right after you finished? You sly dog. I got offered two online teaching jobs for the summer so I can work while well on vacation. Oh, that's that's very nice. Are you, did you take the offers? Okay, sandblasting is so easy. It is, and it looks nice. That's the thing, right? Although a fine bead finish is pretty difficult. Okay, so since we're still talking, I might just go ahead and unscrew some of it. Just want to check it out. Can you check what size these are? Okay, so let's see what's definitely not this. <laughs> Red Hawk, I keep thinking about the TX84 SE. She calls to me. It is a nice board. The TX84 SE does. Okay, NGB, all right. I'll see you soon. TRG is Korean like LZ. No, TRG is Malaysia. See, that's why, you know, it's talking about the whole Malaysia thing, right? Oh, 
<laughs> what board has surpassed Anthony's standards? Yes, the Magic Force. Yeah, I will say that the the one that surprised me the most this year or the past year was probably the LZ Iron. Just because, you know, you go in thinking, ah, it's a fucking meme keyboard, right? Because the gimmick is all easy money. But it was actually, it's actually pretty nice. Hey, it was from me a try hard. How's it going? Yeah, see, even God hated the LZ Iron. I had a disagreement with him a while back. It's like, no, man. You know, it's cool because it's unique, right? They took an idea and they ran with it. All right? They didn't just take a keyboard. Remove all the right hand modifiers, stuck an LZ, stuck an Iron Man face over there, and just call it, you know, this is the LZ Iron, right? They actually, the, the whole chord thing and, and all that, and I think, I think that's pretty cool. And the board feels really nice. I think that's the biggest thing. And the RGB LEDs are probably the, some of the best I've seen on the keyboard. It made, it made sense for that keyboard, right? Because of the theme. And it was done, implemented pretty well. Of course, the <laughs> the main thing that is probably not implemented too well is Liku, right? And Shigan, but... Oh, well. Okay, so that's where the screw came from. It came from over here. It was loose. God says, LZ Iron is probably the best board LZ has ever designed. I guess as in, in terms of everything, right? I wonder where... Zim 1993 is. He's supposed to be here. He's probably still asleep. The only thing I wish the 910 had is an LU plate. Yeah. I guess so. The thing is, this brass plate actually feels soft. But yeah, it would be nice if there were an aluminum option. Do you think you can get a polycarbonate plate from TGR? Probably, right? Maybe ask for the files and just print a polycarbonate plate. Or CNC. Okay, so one thing that I want to point out, see. Look at this. I'm going to assume that's where the anodizing hook was or whatever. All right. It's blue for some reason. See that? Yeah, it doesn't come off. No, quite a few people own one or are getting one. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, so the plate fits quite tightly into the case, I will say. When you push it down, there's actually tension, friction. Okay, so that comes off. Okay, so I kind of take back what I said about the brass plate being kind of soft or whatever. It's actually kind of a normal brass plate. It's pretty, pretty weighty. I guess the finish kind of threw me off, right? It's, it's so hard to think of this as brass. I keep thinking it's just 
champagne colored aluminum. Okay, and then you can see what happens with the logo over here. It is a block of brass. So with the RGB option, then this would, you, you take this off and you replace it with a polycarbonate diffuser or something. And look at that, that is nice. So that comes right off. Huh, the better face is on the other side. That's strange. So just look at that. Yeah, the bottom is actually the nicer surface. So I'm going to swap that, I guess. Put the plate back. And take tape that thing down so it doesn't rattle. I actually have double sided tape. I just dropped it behind the desk actually. So I could get that done. I also wish there was a fixed layout. Yeah, I know, right? I do wish they would do that. Sorry, ISO folks. One of us had to go and I'm afraid it has to be you. Okay, so now let's take a look at the weight. <laughs> Malaysia can finally shed their British roots. Pretty much, yeah, because I remember growing up seeing both ISO and ANSI keyboards. I didn't really know the difference until I was actually looking into buying keyboards and thought, oh, you know, because I grew up seeing both. So it didn't really occur to me that one was American and one was British or whatever. Okay. So as you can see, we took the two screws out. That screws the weight in because... Man, this is some nice shit, I'm telling you. Holy fuck. Yeah, that thing's heavy. Oh man, that's quite satisfying. Oh, I love screwing in, screwing from the back. But yes. So yeah, so no visible screws from the front or, or from the outside, which is nice. 
But yeah, look at this chunky monkey. Look at that. Oh man, I'm so I'm so worried about just dropping it. I'm gonna move this aside. All right, look at this thing. This thing is insane. Okay, so let's put it back before I damage it. The thing is, so the reason why I turned it around, or at first I thought, is because it actually, the weight is not level with the rest of the case. It's actually slightly deep set. So I noticed because once I unscrewed the weight, it actually fell out of it, sort of. So. Yeah, because if we had tried to just screw everything in like that, then the screw will be trying to lift the brass weight up, which is not going to happen. It is a very delicate process. Oh man, this thing is very nice. Now, I will say the actually the biggest letdown is not the anodizing. Well, I guess it's the case that it's the anodizing. The 910 as a whole, I'll say the biggest letdown is the green PCB, right? That just kind of ruins everything. It ruins it. Absolutely ruined. I don't know man, you can see the PCB a little bit because of the, because it's not a fixed plate. Yeah, I remember my first PC build, I was actually actively looking for a motherboard that had a black PCB. And same thing with RAM as well, because I remember even during that time, the HyperX Fury was one of the few memory kits that had black PCBs. Almost everyone else is at green. Whatever happened to the Tokyo Meetup TGR PCB? Man, so as expensive as this board is, I wish you could just recode it or something. 
a different color. Yeah, the anodizing just leaves a bit too much to be desired. Hey, what's up, Ramsky? How's it going? Did you cook anything good today? Any good stuff? It's actually super cheap group by price. Yeah? Well, <laughs> not not aftermarket, that's for sure. Hey, Zip993, you just showed up. Or we, were, we were asking about where you were. This is the PCB. If you watch the VOD, we have tested it. Everything works, which is great. Just a green PCB. All right. Nothing too special about it. Very basic. It does have spots for RGB LEDs if you so desire. You can just solder. You'll have to buy your LEDs and solder them in. Some burgers and homemade turkey patties. Nice. Uh, do Persians and Turks not get along very well? Isn't it kind of crazy that this thing was only slightly more expensive, very slightly more, or I'm gonna say slightly more, but yeah. More, exp it was only a little more expensive than the M65. And this thing shits on the M65. Not right now though, of course, the prices for the TJ910 are ridiculous right now. You say M65, hey, Anthony, did it take long to sell? No, not at all. It took a long time for me to actually get trade offers. Or it took a long time for me to finally decide to actually just sell it for cash because everyone was just offering cash. I mean, other than I did have someone who's like, you want interesting trades, right? I have a five degree case DD60 build. Yes, yes. I don't have enough of those. So special. Alright, so we're gonna put it back in the box. But yeah, you wouldn't have trouble selling it. Although maybe, oh, I guess even if you're in Japan, you wouldn't have trouble selling it. Okay, so this will be a live build tomorrow, same time, same place, hopefully. And will be the start of many streams this summer. I also have quite a few unboxings in the next week and this weekend, so should be pretty good. So I wanted to trade a KB75, my TX75 like that. Yeah, see, I don't know. It feels, I, I feel bad. Actually, I don't feel bad for saying some of this shit, but, but yeah, some of those offers are just, it's just stupid, right? So I'm looking for a high end 75 and then I get offers for KB75 and so, all right, dude, I get it, I get it. Jeez. 
Japan is pretty weird. Okay, so that's been the unboxing for the TGR 910. Let me know if you have any other questions. If not, I will see you all tomorrow. I would keep streaming, but I'm, I'm actually really tired. So I should probably stop here. Anything else? Anything else? Yes, you can. $910. Before shipping and fees. N. Finder's fee. Hey, what's up, Alex? It's all right. You tuned in to say bye. I still appreciate it. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe to Chokan's YouTube channel. If you scroll down right here on my Twitch channel, scroll down, you will see his beautiful... Do I have his face up? Maybe I should put his face up there. But you will see his channel linked over there. Just click on that picture and it'll send you straight to his wonderful channel. And go check that out. A lot of good stuff over there. He actually gives a shit about his YouTube videos. I just stream and just export directly so he works a lot harder than i do so go check it out good stuff and i will see all of you tomorrow see you god red hawk alex ranch pones army spider <laughs> maybe we'll start uploading again well hopefully you got a bit more time in the next few months all right see you chokan red uh, i said red hawk already hammer brother all right, well, thanks for tuning in today. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow.